This is my grandfather. His name is Keiji Goto, and he was 43 years old when it was 1986. At the time, he was working at Mitsubishi Estate Company Limited, which was and still is the biggest estate company in Japan. In 1986, Japanese economy started to grow rapidly. There were no other countries that have experienced this growth of economy before, so no one could have guessed what would have happened. How the whole economy thing started was because the Bank of Japan decreased the interest rate from 5% to 2.5% in two years, which meant that it was easier for companies to borrow money from the bank and invest on other things. Because the economy started to grow, everything started to become really expensive. For example, at the peak, an empty 32 square feet area in the corner of the Ginza shopping district in Tokyo was sold for $600,000 even though it was too small to build on. Because everything was going so well, citizens in Japan started to get higher salary. And with that salary, people started to invest on stock and land. When investing became a trend, people including who had no experience on investing all started to invest. Many companies became successful. Many people, including my grandfather, were able to go on fancy business trips to other countries and have fancy business dinners. When Japanese citizens went to other countries for business or other reasons, many bought expensive presents for their loved ones. Brooks Brothers ties by the dozen, Gucci handbags in multiple numbers, and polo shirts in one of every color. According to my grandfather, he saw many foreign cars such as Rolls Royce around the city since many people were able to afford expensive things at the time. This increase of economy also affected my grandfather. He bought Mercedes-Benz for his family. My grandfather's company bought Rockefeller Group for 220 billion Japanese yen in 1989. Rockefeller Group used to own Rockefeller Center, which located in 5th Avenue, New York. So after his company bought the group, the center also became their property. Right after the incident, there were sayings like Japanese money bought the soul of America, since Rockefeller Center was an enormous complex facility. However, in 1991, the bubble started to pop. Because the price of everything in Japan was overkilled, Ministry of Finance and Bank of Japan decided to stop the other banks from renting funds to people and companies. And because they stopped renting money, prices of the lands and stocks started to decrease. People and banks started to have mountains of loans that they couldn't pay back. And this is how the bubble started to collapse. After the Japanese economy started to collapse, large American firms and other country firms downsized their Tokyo offices. My grandfather's company also got influenced by the breakdown of the Japanese asset price bubble. They couldn't keep the Rockefeller group, so they had to record the huge loss. They were only able to sell for 70 billion Japanese yen. As you can tell, they lost 150 billion Japanese yen, which was an enormous loss for them. An independent broadcast media professional, Yukiko Noguchi, said that the biggest lesson from Japan is not to fall into the same state of denial that existed there. Countries such as China is following the same pattern as Japan during their go-go years. China today is using similar policies and practices to climb up the charts of the world's biggest economies that Japan employed during its go-go years. Moreover, in the United States, there were already cases that were similar to the bust in Japan, which are taking years to work itself out. 